Oh, what's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I want to talk about some aspects of the recent update Bungie have dropped which will be landing on January 13th next Tuesday of 2015. Uh, basically they released a statement I think it was yesterday or the day before I've just basically got around to seeing it and there's a few aspects of the actual update that I want to talk about in the video now I will link it in the video description if you guys want to check it all out if you did miss it but the main aspects of the actual update statement are the quarters and raid and the updates to and the fixes to it and we're going to start with the existing pit treasure chest reward move to killing a yuck the death singer now basically when Tuesday come around Everybody above level 27 was going into the raid, just basically re-wiping, trying to get that treasure chest that would spawn on your left in that door. Uh, out of it, you could have got exotic rewards, um, you can get class items, you can get radiant materials, etc, etc. That reward now has now been moved to killing Ear Yuck, the death singer, you know the part where you have to kill the wizard just before you face Trota. The reward has moved to there. Now the existing treasure chest pit will just basically contain radiant materials so you ain't going to get nothing exotic out of it so no one's really going to race to it unless you're in need of radiant energies and radiant shards. Now the pit encounter which is basically the first part with the lanterns they've removed the physics impulse caused by exploding lanterns and this is because basically a lot of people were cheesing it they were standing by the second lantern on a rock and basically when it explodes it basically shot them across the map to the end of that actual first part to the end of the pit encounter where they could easily and safely just cross the bridge after killing one ogre and not being mauled by thralls uh, they fixed that so there's no more doing that now the bridge encounter uh, players will now be required to cross the bridge in order to complete the bridge encounter players will now be required to wait for the bridge to be completed prior to crossing with the sword I actually prefer this because when it was my turn to actually run across the bridge I was always in two minds whether it was going to be fully formed or not because it wasn't obviously it looked see-through so you could fall straight through it so I actually prefer it to be fully formed and fully completed prior to crossing it with the sword now the death singer encounter fixed a rare case where the shriekers would not spawn preventing players from reaching the death singer I actually never come across this one um, never even heard about anybody having that issue but yep they fixed that now the prota encounter now this is going to probably screw over a lot of people a lot of people can't do it legitly i actually on the other hand uh, with the team i'm playing with ha have no problem whatsoever with any part of the raid come to think of it we only cheese it a few times because the rewards are random and there's no point in spending hours upon hours trying to sweating your ass off trying to do it and the rewards can be utter shit so that's the only reason we cheese I mean only now it's only going to take a few more minutes longer without cheesing and same with Crota as well in my opinion Crota is way 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 too easy to actually defeat I know a lot of people will disagree with that but but basically the fixes for Crota they have applied which will come on Tuesday the 13th of January like I said two sword bearers will no longer spawn at the same time at the outset of the encounter Crota will now recover from his kneeling state after a player quits uh, fix the bug that allowed players to remove the presence of Crota using a Radiant Warlock's Fireborn ability and to fix the bug that made the Oversoul appear destroyed to some players in their fire team when it was actually still active. I actually never come across that issue also. And one other thing that I do want to talk about as well, the Vault of Glass, they've actually updated the exotic drops in the actual Vault of Glass. Their weapons are now going to be a level 32 instead of a level 30. I know a lot of people were confused about this on Twitter yesterday. People were on about what did it mean from a level 30 to 32. But basically, even after Dark Below come out and all the new exotics basically had a 3 3 1 attack, the weapons that dropped in the Vortal Glass raid, as there's an exotic chest in there, which a lot of people were getting the Galahorn, the Suicide Regime, the Universal Remote, and weapons like that, they all still had the old school 302 or 301 attack. They never had the 3 3 1 attack. So the exotic weapons you can achieve from the water glass now have the maximum attack. Uh, I'm actually disappointed they didn't apply this to the legendaries as well. I really would have loved the Fate Bring of the Prodest Revenge, the Aphian's Epilogue, or to have the maximum 331 attack. That would have been so, so, so much better in my opinion. But it's just the way it goes. But yep guys, that is basically the main aspect of the update. The patch that will be coming next Tuesday I wanted to talk about. Let me know your opinions on it down below in that comment section. I'm curious to know what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like or do a parishi. Ate the support. And peace out until next time. Peace.
equivalent on anything again, yeah, instead of having bastard strength. <laughs> 